How does productivity work? Although the term, productivity, can be used to describe any aspect of life, it is frequently used in business settings. Productivity can be measured in a business setting by the number of sales calls made or the output of a factory line. The number of questions answered or words written could be used to measure productivity in an academic setting. Productivity, in its most fundamental form, is the ratio of input to output. However, if the outcomes aren't immediately observable, productivity measurement isn't always straightforward. A lot of self-motivation is required for some projects and industries. For instance, when attempting a creative endeavor like writing a book or attempting a promotion in the service provider industry. Productivity cannot always be measured in terms of immediate outcomes or output for this kind of work. Time management strategies are a popular choice among people looking for ways to increase productivity. Although productivity and time management are linked, they are distinct concepts, and not all productive individuals are particularly adept at time management. A person's ability to make good use of their time can be improved through time management skills and tools. Productivity is about getting things done in a certain amount of time. Effectively managing a list of tasks may not always result in the most productive outcomes. Productivity is more concerned with the outcome. 10 suggestions for increasing productivity Consider incorporating some of these productivity suggestions into your daily routine. Keep track of what works for you and what doesn't so you can develop a long-term strategy to boost productivity. Regardless of your industry, it is possible to see an incremental increase in productivity by making a few minor adjustments to your workday schedule. Some of these changes are listed below. Stacking of habits. You can't expect to change all of your productivity habits in a day. To find out what works and what doesn't, concentrate on making incremental changes in small steps. A set of skills designed to help you make the most of your time is called time management. Time spent on activities must also produce results in order to be productive. Check out some methods for managing your time to see if they can be of use to you. Accountability. If you want to work more productively, it can be really helpful to have someone hold you accountable. To keep you on track, hold weekly check-ins with a coworker who is also interested in increasing their own productivity or create a personal diary system to hold yourself accountable to regularly updated goals. 1. Stop trying to multitask. It's tempting to try to handle multiple workday tasks at once. Although it may appear to be productive, this rarely yields the best results. You will complete a task to a higher standard and in less time if you concentrate on just one at a time, allowing you to seamlessly move on to the next one. 2. Set modest objectives. We frequently overestimate the amount of time it will take to complete large projects or tasks, which can be intimidating. By breaking down tasks into manageable, bite-sized milestones that build up until your project is finished, you can build momentum. For instance, clearing your inbox by responding to four emails each day. 3. When talking about being productive at work, it may seem odd to recommend taking breaks, but taking regular breaks actually helps reduce stress and boost productivity. In the course Mindfulness for Wellbeing and Peak Performance at Monash University, the topic of how to reduce workplace stress can be discussed. Employees are required to take frequent breaks in many workplaces. On the other hand, if you work from home or in an office that does not monitor your activity, you might want to schedule frequent 10 to 15 minute breaks. Take a break from your work during this time, giving your brain a chance to rest. When you get back, you'll likely be more inspired and have more ideas. 4. The 5 minute rule. If you struggle a lot with procrastination, try the 5 minute rule. You can get rid of a lot of the excuses that keep you from starting a task by promising yourself that you will complete it in just 5 minutes. Writing an email, researching a subject, Finishing some filing, or outlining a new task can all be accomplished in just 5 minutes for almost anyone. The drive to go on often remains after the 5 minutes are up. Even if you move on to a more productive endeavor, the minor tasks completed in the allotted 5 minutes still contribute significantly to your overall output. We continue to put off these minor tasks the most. 5. Time blocking Time blocks are a tried and true method of increasing productivity. You make the conscious decision to devote a block of time to a particular activity by incorporating time block frames into your workday schedule. Typically, time blocks are broken up into sections of 60 or 90 minutes. One of the benefits of time blocking is that once completed, it creates a visual guide for your workday. You might want to print out the schedule or color code your tasks. 6. Delegate If you work in a team, 
look at your daily responsibilities and see if any of them can be given to other team members. We frequently take on tasks that are outside of our scope or can be completed much more quickly by others. Offloading work that you don't want to do is not the goal of delegation. Instead, it's about making sure that everyone is working on the tasks that are most appropriate for their abilities and availability. It's common for entrepreneurs to try to handle everything at once. Using freelancers or new employees to delegate tasks like social media content can free up time for more important tasks. 7. Limit distractions It is perfectly normal to become distracted, and focus does not always come easily. On the other hand, it is a skill that can be learned. Use a productivity app like Freedom, put your phone in airplane mode, or turn off your notifications. Commonly, the Pomodoro method is used to complete tasks while avoiding distractions. By setting a timer, users eliminate all other sources of distraction, emails, social media, etc. and work in 20-30 minute timed sprints. A great way to improve your ability to focus for longer periods of time is to be aware that you only need to focus for a short amount of time. 8. Do the hardest thing first It can be tempting to focus on quick wins rather than difficult or time-consuming tasks. However, if you tackle your most challenging tasks first, you can boost your motivation and focus throughout the day. Consider prioritizing these more significant tasks first in the day or when you are most productive. 9. Set limits because, as we talked about in the section on delegation, employees frequently find themselves taking on work that isn't related to their job. Flexibility and taking advantage of opportunities for career advancement are regarded as positive traits. However, it is also essential to establish time limits. You must be able to complete your tasks within a reasonable amount of time in order to be productive and effective. You prevent yourself from becoming overwhelmed by setting limits. Developing skills for success at work. 10. Find out when you are most productive. With the rise of COVID and remote work, the 9 to 5 job is becoming less and less common. The idea of working in more productive ways has been promoted by hybrid and flexible work arrangements. Each person is unique. Some workers do their best work in the morning, while others are at their most productive after lunch. An excellent strategy for increasing productivity is to determine when you are most productive and then to plan your day around these peak times. Final thoughts We've talked about some of the most important ways to boost productivity at work and in everyday life. Anyone can develop skills in this area, reduce stress, and achieve our professional and personal goals by concentrating on trying one of these productivity tips at a time.